I don't want to stay getting ass that I barely know. But now my older brother, his nickname was Rax. So when we was younger type shit. So I definitely wanted a name that was kind of like it for real, but some unique shit type shit. I came with Banks. And that shit stuck, because I don't know I don't know how it stuck. It sounded weird at first, and then once it just, you get used to it. Before I started rapping, I was already fucking with hella people type shit. So that's how you would know hella people. And then when you drop music, it's like shit, if the shit good, Shit, that shit did it. So I've been had it for real since like back in the day for real. It's just once you get older, if you can still carry the fan base or even get a new one that, that you feel me, replace shit that, that's gone and shit like that. So it just stay up for real. For one, it's promotion wise. I feel like trying to get my shit promoted outside of the city too. Cause the city, I'm gonna be here for a minute. I've been here for a minute. So it ain't nothing to do this shit every day and be out here. But once you get it started, outside that shit just keep building and shit like that but it be talent too you gotta have some hard shit so if a motherfucker hear you from another city if they ain't on some ooh who is that type of shit then they know a motherfucker don't give a fuck who you they don't even care about the music enough to ask where you from there's other people that got relationships they real people so like there's niggas that know them already and got relationships with them so you can't be mad you feel me if it's you pick up your car before man type shit i don't know him like that it's just business but Hey, that shit, shit still go how it go, but I don't know. Nobody owe nobody nothing, so shit, fuck that shit. You should have a sound. Hmm, what else? What you need? For like one, you should have a sound. And two, you should have some type of like game plan for real. You can't be jumping in and just not know shit that you want to do besides I just want to be a rapper. And you just, you feel me? You just talk the talk. You got to know what you're doing for one. Then three. Man, let's see. I ain't gonna lie, your background check gotta be valid. You can't rap about shit that you ain't about, cause that shit get, that shit gonna get scammed real quick. So like, if you perping, it's, you feel me? It's only a matter of time. Niggas be getting the perp out for real, for real, but after so much time going on, if it ain't nothing to back up the shit you talking about for real, eventually it's, that shit gonna catch up to you. I ain't, you gotta, I feel like you gotta have confidence. That's number four. If you feel like you shitty or you feel like it ain't good enough and shit like that, ain't nobody else gonna take your shit serious. Cause this motherfuckers that feel like they hottest, they might be lightweight trash type shit, but just they confidence will make you click they shit or keep staying tuned or even know who they is just because, you feel me, they, they left an impression on you by being cocky or confident, for, just confident for real type shit. At first I was, um, I wasn't even fucking with it like I purposely wasn't. It wasn't like I was purposely don't fuck with niggas or nothing. But I was working more on my shit for real. Like when I be working on my shit, it's like as an artist, you gotta build your catalog first before you do all that. Cause you feel me? It'll show results and how your shit going for real. You don't want nobody to say none of your shit coming from here, there, or there. You feel me? Until you do your shit first. Or you gotta have your flow set in stone before you even start working with niggas that got other flows and other sounds. They won't even know how to, you feel me? They won't know how to. They won't know how to work with me until I drop all these songs, and then you know how I'm coming, so you know what kind of songs you can put me on and shit like that. So I had to wait for real, and now it's like I already know hella people that I talk to, and we don't even talk about music when I'm around them. So it just be like we can get in there at any time. So now we just starting to line that shit up for real and make it happen. So what's the pros and cons with features? Like, what's your pros and cons with doing features with other artists? Uh. Pros and shit, we done it. We can share fan bases and shit like that. There's a whole lot of people that listen to me that might not even know who you is, type shit, and they'll hear of you because we did this, and then vice versa, type shit. It's motherfuckers that you feel me might know of me, but might not know I've been dropping and shit like that, but they'll hear of me again from dropping with you, type shit. Shit like that. Cons, only cons is some features I'll be doing, the verses be fire, and I'll be down there wanting to swap them out or take them motherfuckers back. <laughs> You can't do it. <laughs> Sometimes we'll do features, I'll go in there and roll up and do punch-ins and shit like that. Or I'll write some shit in like 10 minutes and I still, like, I don't be able to write no bullshit no matter what's going on. So it just will be some shit and I'll be like, damn. And I'll be finished it up probably an 8, 12 bar verse and I'll have some shit I can stretch this motherfucker for real and it's just like, damn, that's it. Like if I'm out and about like right now and start writing some shit, I'm liable to come up with like 12 bars or some shit like that and end up busy and doing something else. And I could end up in the studio and be listening to the right beat. And I could start something and put that in, or I could start that and then do punch-ins with the rest. Sometimes I'd be having shit wrote, probably like a hook. 
Sometimes I do punch-ins and make a hook, and then I know the hook so far and the beat hit, and I ain't trying to do punch-ins for the verse, so I'm gonna leave that alone. Write the verse and come back, shit like that. Going on, you just, at that time, while the beat hitting, all the words just coming, like, that shit, just everything you need to say, that shit just coming through, for real, you just shit. Lay that shit out if you vibing. If you ain't vibing, we know we ain't really feeling it. We in here dry as fuck. High, ready to skirt for real. But it's them days we chilling like this. We could leave, go get food, and be just chilling and just, you feel me? Get the car engineer up, swing through there, and we ain't even got shit wrote, no beat or nothing. Just get the shit, put some shit together. So, what, what are you pushing right now? Um, shit, I'm still pushing Old McDonald. That's like my commercial song. So, it's like, it's, it's at like 170,000, but that ain't even, you know, it's 50 states and cities in each one of them motherfuckers. It's billions, it's millions, motherfuckers ain't even heard it yet. So I'm still pushing that. And we got this joint EP coming out with me and Yuri called Trench Vibes. We about to drop that this month in August. And I'm about to drop uh, two more EPs back to back, auto-tune and one no auto-tune. Still shooting videos from all that shit, from Blame My Thoughts, all that shit. So we still just shooting vids. Doing, yeah, doing features, shooting them vids. We're just doing hella shit for real. What's the concept behind Trenches, though? That's the name of it. Yeah. What's okay. the concept behind it? It's almost self-explanatory for real, but that's the vibes, though. Like, it's like, yeah, it's like the lyrics, everything give you the trenches, and then the beat, just how you vibe, and before you even hear the words, and when the words come on, you know this shit from the trenches. So if you feel me, Everything just come in smooth. You gonna feel like what we talking about, even if you ain't from there type shit or none of that. You gonna feel what we talking about. Who produces? Who's the producer? Um, we got Rax on the producer side. We got Neato Beats on the producer side. I think I got an M80 beat. Um, let me see. And then I ain't gonna lie, we got a couple uh, just online. We be finding, when we do YouTube beats and shit like that, we find the producers, hit them up on IG, all that about the beats and shit like that. So working with them too, so we just get them shining. We probably still ain't near Matt, and then you feel me, it just still rock out. That's Fuck it. Cool. 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 Before I ask everybody, who's your top, you ain't gotta be no order, who's your top video for the city right now? You said top, like how, top what? Top what, three or one? Yeah, we mm, do five. Five? If you can come off of five. Yeah, I think I can come off of five. All right, no order. Uh. And I'm talking camera-wise, so it ain't biased or none of that. Um, Long list, so visual, that shit, I think he was, yeah, when I said no order, but I think his shit was number one for real, it was cold, that camera. His shit was crispy, like to the point, you shoot the video and you know we just shot a scene, when we look at that right there, it feel like you could just upload that, like bro, fuck it, we ain't doing nothing else, don't edit it, just push that like that. Like him, visuals by Al for sure. Uh, my nigga Slips, I just met Slips, he young as fuck. He cold with that camera. Uh, he cold. <laughs> uh, let me see, cold with that camera, cause I'm trying to think. It's somebody I can't think of their name. They ain't been shooting for a minute. Dream Vision. I ain't, I ain't never got a video with him. Dude, shit, cold. This shit look like movies. Uh, five. Uh, Kendall, Kendall Mathis, that shit hard, I ain't gonna lie. That camera hard, that camera work hard. That's fine. You are, you are short yourself on whatever else you doing that's making you half-ass music. You are short yourself on either side if you half, half and half in it or just playing around. Two shit, you gotta, you gotta build your fan base. It don't matter if it's just from the city, if you started from your block, from your street, from your house, you can start it from your house. Keep building your fan base. It ain't about who listen to who, wherever else. You gotta build drawers. If you get them people to listen to you, it grow from there. As long as your shit good. And take criticism. When you start out, take criticism, for sure. Don't ever think nobody, it's niggas that be hating, but so what? If you just starting out, take criticism. If it not, if it don't, somebody tell you it don't sound good, it might not sound good. These are people with ears, you feel me? So everybody ain't gonna laugh to you. Criticism, that's for sure. Instagram, follow me on Instagram, follow me on all that other shit. Thanks to artists.